full timeline uh, for a whole season. And a season lasts about 20 years on Earth. Uh, and that's Neptune.
in the, um, uh, the Pluto debate, when, when we, um, when the committee thought about this word, the word plan, how could it be usefully defined, um, we were very mindful of the, the body that made so much of this 2003 UB313, which is a Kuiper object that is apparently larger than Pluto. And so its discoverer, Mike Brown, had come around saying, if Pluto is a planet, then this body, which uh, he was calling Xena as a nickname, wasn't proposing that as his real name, but Xena, the warrior princess from television, was the nickname, because 2003 UB313 was rather mouthful. Um, uh, so his argument was, uh, we've got to find this word. And I thought, when we define the planet as an object orbiting a star that was massive enough that its own gravity had shaped it around, we thought my ground would be really happy because by that definition, Xena was a planet. And you know, he hated it. He was the first person to come out against our definition. Um, he said, I'm looking at 50 other things in the solar system that are probably bigger than Pluto. So we can't have that many planets. And I thought, why not? You know, we have 92 elements. Why, why not have 55 planets? And people thought that school children would not be able to memorize more than nine hours. I am not worried about the school children. You know, when they get interested in something, nine is not their limit. It's our limit, maybe. But that didn't, uh, no, he really, really didn't like it, and he was very pleased. And so one of the um, uh, occurrences of the meeting since the IAU is the body that names things. And they never had to name a planet before. Um, they did not name Pluto. Of course, there hasn't been another opportunity. So this was their first. And the name given to this object, the official name was Eris, which is um, kind of a 13th fairy figure, the, the evil one that stirs up discord among men. Which just goes to show you that astronomers have not lost their sense of humor. Pat, yeah, you have a question? When you uh, had a deal proposed what, what, what were going to be the planets if, if, if you had if you got your way, what would have been the What would have been the What would that arrangement have been before we start finding these things bigger than the oh, well, Pluto would have been a planet, so that's not. Um, Eris would have been a planet, that's 10. Ceres, the first asteroid to be discovered, would have been a planet. And um, the Earth and Moon would have been a planet. Because, um, and this was one of the complicated things about our definition that people didn't like. Um, no, actually, actually not Earth and Moon. Pluto's moon. Because the, um, we had to use the word barycenter uh, because the Earth and the Moon are actually orbiting each other. But the barycenter is within the body of the Earth. So the Moon, Earth moon stays the Moon. But at Pluto, Pluto had 